Uganda's battle against malaria could be revolutionized by a mobile phone application designed by four university students. The application is still a prototype, but if developed, it could diagnose malaria, ending the need for painful pin pricks to test for the disease. CCTV's Isabel Nakiria has the details from Kampala. It could be mistaken for fingerprint identification at immigration, but it's one of the latest inventions to diagnose malaria. Invented by four Ugandan university students, they connect a smartphone with a software application for a malaria test. The information science and technology students came up with a program that won an inter-university competition. Mentor of the group Josiah Kavuma says they chose a mobile phone for the software solution because of its popularity. The penetration of the smartphones in Africa is rising to over 60%, so thought it would be a best best platform to have our application work. The invention is still a prototype, but the students say a push of the finger produces a red light, which is able to spread rays through the skin and into the blood vessels, identifying plasmodia in the red blood cells. So as we to achieve that, for the light to get into the skin, it's able to strike to the red blood cells and then have a scattering pattern after hitting the cells. And you realize a normal red blood cell is by concave in shape, so you have a different pattern from an infected cell since it is usually round and rugged, so it has a totally different shape from a normal cell. The students have shared their idea with qualified medical personnel and say their invention is painless unlike the pricks patients go through daily. Kavuma says their application will be 80% more effective when complete. As blood flows, we are able to keep sampling a number of cells, unlike the microscope, where they just prick and, you know, get a drop of the blood to, to a small slide. Sometimes we may even have the infected cell to the side of the cell, I mean... <laughs> the side of the slide. So we find Matibabu being way too efficient. The World Health Organization currently recommends malaria testing with slides under a microscope. But the method has limitations. Now depending on the stage of the malaria um, progress in someone's uh, uh, body, it may not be tested because the reagents may not be able to pick out um, uh, the malaria parasite. Now it could be hiding still in your liver. Now once it's still there, you can be feeling sick <laughs> have a kind of like a fever, but don't yet have malaria showing in what? In your blood slide. Uganda is at the moment involved in a massive campaign to eradicate the spread of malaria by asking people to use mosquito nets. Malaria is the biggest killer of children under five years old in the country, according to the Ministry of Health. The university students are confident that their mobile phone app could go a long way in saving millions of lives if only the government could fund it and adopt it. They hope that by the end of this year, it could be fully developed for use. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Kampala.